And if you're just using Unity right out of the box, there's a high chance that you probably won't even need this tutorial, but this is for how to take a standard material and update it for the universal render pipeline. All right, so here I have my project, and just to show you that it's working, we'll play through it real quick. So here I've got my dice, and I can roll it, and it falls down, it rolls on the ground. Currently, you can see that the ground doesn't have any texture to it, so it doesn't really look like it's going anywhere. And that's what I want to change in this video. I want to apply a material to the ground plane. Now, I'm not a texture artist, and so I'm going to go to the Unity Asset Store and download a couple of texture material packs. Here's the first material pack that I want to download. It's the free stylized PBR texture pack from Lumo Art 3D. This pack seems pretty good. It's got a couple different options. I'm also going to download this pack, which is the free stylized textures from Low Poly. I like this texture pack because it's got more normal maps and more variety in the actual textures instead of being just plain grass or wood or rock textures. And I'll also link to these material packs in the description below. So here I am back in my Unity project and I've opened up the package manager. I'm just going to download and import these two packs. Now once the packs have been imported into the project, I can go look at them and you'll notice that all the materials are pink. That's because there's actually something broken about the material. And that is that these are standard materials for the PBR render pipeline. But my project is currently set to the universal render pipeline. Now maybe you only have one material that you need to update and you can select the material and then use the shader drop down menu to select universal render pipeline and then something like lit. Now here it hasn't filled in the base map texture because the names are different. In the standard material it's called albedo color and in the universal render pipeline it's called base map. Now if you've got more than one material and you need to update a bunch of materials all at once Unity provides a nice tool in order for you to update your materials really quick. And that's under Windows Rendering Render Pipeline Converter. That'll bring up this window. And here at the top, you can see it says built in to URP. And then it provides a few different options for different things that you can have it convert or update for you. And the one that we want is just the second option, which is Material Upgrader. You can then select Initialize Converters. But in my case, I'm just going to click Initialize and Convert. I'll then click Save and Continue and let it load. Once it's finished, you can see that all my materials in the project are no longer pink and they actually have their proper preview image. So here I can drag on this rock texture to my ground plane. I'm going to adjust the tiling and then I can test my project. And here you can see that it's working. And now I have a textured ground plane. All right, now that's everything I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you thought it was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure that you leave them down in the comments below. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date when I release new content.